and welcome to our daily prayer for Monday, July the 13th. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us a living hope. Beloved, we are come together in the presence of Almighty God to offer our worship, praise and thanksgiving, to make confession of our sins, and to pray for others as for ourselves, that we may know more truly the greatness of God's love and show forth in our lives the fruits of his grace. Let us pray. O God our Father, we have sinned against thee in thought, word and deed. We have not loved thee with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours. Have mercy upon us, we beseech thee. Cleanse us from our sins and help us to overcome our faults. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful Lord grant unto us pardon and remission of our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. For everything, its season. And for every activity under heaven, it's time. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to pull down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time for mourning and a time for dancing. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time for silence and a time for speech. Time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, from whom all holy desires and all just works do proceed, Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, 
may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father and everlasting God, who safely brings us to the beginning of each day and helps us to do what is righteous in thy sight. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, and by thy great mercy defend us from perils and dangers of day and of night. For the love of thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. There is a season for everything, writes Ecclesiastes, the preacher. Old lugubrious Ecclesiastes, who reminds me to some extent of the donkey in Winnie the Pooh. Good morning. Is it a good morning? He says there is a season for everything. A time for war and a time for peace. A time to weep and a time to laugh. On July the 13th, 80 years ago, the Battle of Britain was on its desperate and costly third day. We've probably all seen film footage of the black bomber shapes swarming up the Thames estuary to Blitz Krieg, London. The calligraphy in smoke and vapour of the dog fights in the Kentish skies, Spitfire chasing Messerschmitt, chasing Hurricane. The few against the many. Such an imbalance in numbers of adversaries, never in the field of human conflict, and so on. On the same day, July the 13th, 1940, my mother gave birth to her firstborn child in a little house in Lancashire. My sister, Judith. Happy birthday, sister. From me, your brother who followed the war, as you appeared in its opening chapters. A season for everything, even warfare. Well, by most people's assessment, the war against the tyranny of Nazism was a just war. Ethicists and philosophers Historians, psychologists, politicians can def debate the definition of a just war from one longest day to another. And the rights and the wrongs of Blitzkrieg, whether it was directed mercilessly against London or Hamburg, Coventry or Dresden. The military cemeteries around the globe attest to the cost in life of making war, just or unjust. Civilian cemeteries tell the same story of untimely death, whether it be through buildings collapsing on sheltering families in the East End, or the millions struck down by the viral pandemic of 1918 and 99 that wouldn't have been as scythingly catastrophic had it not been for the world's disruption by war. And still, swords are not being refashioned into plowshares. Still, sabres are rattled. Threats of violent action and reaction are shouted or tweeted. 
to attempt economic recovery, questions of justice in warfare are set aside and rockets are made in Britain to be sold to foreign warriors, careless, uncaring of death and disaster amongst hapless civilian populations caught between the armies, schools, hospitals. Who cares if terrorists, insurgents, whatever you call the enemy, can be annihilated? Hmm? My sister's lifetime has seen much warfare, more than mine has, because of the few years of her seniority. And now? Have we done now, at last, with conflict between nations? Alas. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. The collect for the peace of the world. Almighty God, through whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed. Kindle, we pray, in the hearts of all men the true love of peace, and guide with your pure and peaceable wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquillity your kingdom may go forward, till the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As you go forth on your way, go forth into the world in peace, be of good courage, hold fast that which is good, strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, render to no man evil for evil, love, honour and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God. Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, rest with you all now and always.